Shana Tova, everyone. Great to bring in this new year together. What a year this past year has been. I think none of us expected it would go as the way it did. And who knows what this new year will bring. But we know that we can bring it in together with some joy, with gratitude, with prayer, and with song. I am so excited to be joined this morning by Chava Morel, who will be leading us in song and in spirit and excited to bring in this day with all of you follow along here with the words that will be right here in front of you start this morning with a little bit more gratitude <laughs> Warming up our voices a little bit and maybe our spirits too, we think about how special this day Rosh Hashanah is. Feel free at home to uh, join in the reading too. Rosh Hashanah is the birthday of the world. Today we say thank you God for all the beauty you made. For blue skies and starry nights and mountains and moonlight. We thank you God for the beauty you made. For birds singing in the sun and legs that let us run. We thank you, God, for light and life. For our parents who love us, for our teachers who help us, for our friends who come over to play. We thank you, God, for hugs and hearts, for the warm feelings we feel each day. Most of all, we thank you for this new year. Well, start with this little blessing. Starts with like all blessings do, Baruch Ta'onai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. And then we get to fill in how we want to finish this blessing. What this morning we are giving thanks for? What little miracles are we celebrating? Or as this question puts it, for what do you thank God on this Rosh Hashanah morning? Could be something really small. Maybe a loved one who you are with. Maybe a favorite pet or a favorite toy could be something huge. Maybe you're really thankful for a home to live in or a little bit of rain or maybe the sun when the sun peeks out. Whatever it is, take a second, think about it, maybe share it, share it with someone else who's in the room with you. And once you've thought of that, we will join together in Shehechianu celebrating that we made it through another year and we are here together celebrating. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu vekimanu vehigianu Lazman hazeh Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu vekimanu vehigianu Lazman Hazeh Ah 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 Amen 
from the flood we are from the angels singing all you need is love we are from the mountain and the hope blowing on the wind we are from the holy one within Whoa. from the dream we are from the fight to understand what freedom means we are from the promise and the hope for a better land we are from the marching hand in hand Whoa. Sing a little bit using all of our spirits and our voices and instruments if you want to in our praises this morning. Hallelujah, 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 After warming ourselves up, we come to the Barachu, known as our call to prayer, a chance for us to check in with ourselves to make sure we are present and ready to pray and we've put our distractions away as much as we can. And I uh, invite you to maybe stand up or really rise in spirit as you prepare to offer these words. Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to my prayers? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? around and see the world God has made with us, we feel grateful. Thank you, God, for giving us sight and light to see this beautiful world. Baruch atah Adonai, Yotzer HaMe'orot. 
to offer the words of Shema. Invite you, if you want, to close your eyes or to cover your eyes to help you concentrate on these words. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Shame kivod mahuto le olam laed. In lieu of the Feahafta, I invite each of you to think about all the ways that you feel loved, the people who love you, the world that loves you, everything that loves you, and then all the ways that you spread your love out in the world. And as we're about to start this new year, to think about how many different ways you want to bring your love into the world and, and in what ways you can do that. And one of the ways we help share our love, we share what we have with others. We think about the people who are not free, and we can use our freedom to help them in becoming free, we sing Micha Mocha, this prayer that celebrates that feeling of being free. to the Amidah, our standing prayer. If you want a great time to stand up, maybe get some more of your wiggles out. And if not, you can stay seated. Once again, an invitation to check in with yourself, put away any distractions, and be present as we pray these words. Adonai sifatai tiftach Ufia gita hila techa Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise I think of God in this moment calling on the God who was the God of our ancestors our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents and all the way back this prayer tells us to Abraham and Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, Jacob, and Isaac, and that we call on that connection as we pray to God. And now we offer some special prayers that we only say and only sing on these high holidays. This one in particular, asking for us to be remembered by God and remembered for good, for all the good things that we did this past year. So, Renu Lechaim, 
Magin Avraham Vezrat Thank you. Unetan Tokef. Let us declare the sacred power of this day. It is the day of judgment. The great shofar is sounded, the still small voice is heard. The angels declare in awe, this is the day of judgment, for even the hosts of heaven are judged. Unetane tokev kedushat hayom ki hu Another chance to ask yourself some questions. Maybe ask someone near you some questions. Think about maybe today or a little bit into the day. What could you have done better this day? Let's think even farther back. Maybe this whole past week. What are some of the great things you did and what could you have done a little bit better at? And then we'll go even farther back, if you can remember all the way to one year ago when we were celebrating Rosh Hashanah. In all of this time, we all probably made some mistakes and did some things that we wish we had done differently. This is a chance to think about some of those. What could you have been better at? And then as we move into the new year, you get to refocus and work on all those things that you wish you had done differently. Ve'al kulam elo ha-salichot Selach lanu mechalanu Ka'apeh lanu Ve'al kulam elo ha-salichot Selach lanu mechalanu Selach lanu mechalanu Ka'aper lanu For all these things, God of mercy, forgive us, pardon us, and grant us atonement. And we'll take just a moment here for a little bit of silent prayer, a chance to close your eyes, to breathe, to pray your own prayers. Se shalom bin Roma, who ya se shalom alenu. O se shalom bin Roma, who ya se shalom alenu. O se shalom bin Roma, who ya se shalom alenu. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'oko Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'oko Take a little break from our songs and our prayers for a little story. And if Rosh Hashanah is the day where we celebrate a new year, we're celebrating the birthday of the year, which means in the Jewish calendar, the whole world was created today, and it's the world's birthday. 
And one of the things about the world is that, at least in Judaism, we say that God helped to create the world, and we people also play a role. And I love this book. Which actually, my grandmother was the one who first read this book to me, and she loves this book too, because this book talks about all the different ways that God and we are involved in the world. It's called God's Paintbrush, and it's by Sandy Eisenberg Sasso. Sometimes I think the clouds are made of white balls of cotton yarn, God's way of painting pictures in the sky. And then a big wind comes and blows the pictures away like a giant eraser. A sunbeam peeked in my window this morning and painted a rainbow on my wall. I think the sunbeam is God's paintbrush dipped in a watercolor sea, painting clouds and coloring our world. What color would you paint the world today? Sometimes I imagine that when it gets very dark at night, the flowers, trees, and mountains, and oceans are afraid. I wonder if God made the stars for them to go to bed with and the moon to be their nightlight. When are you afraid? What makes you feel better? Sometimes when the clouds look gray and dark, I think they are angry or sad. And the rain, I think, is God's tears. Sometimes the oceans make giant waves with white foam on the top. I imagine that pleases God and God laughs. When the fizz on my favorite ice cream soda tickles my nose, it makes me laugh. Maybe it makes God laugh too. What makes you cry and laugh? What do you think would make God cry or laugh? My class went on a hike the other day. We climbed to the top of the mountain and I shouted, hello. I heard a voice call back, hello. It sounded just like my voice, only far away. My teacher said, the sound I heard was an echo. It is fun to hear our own voices. We kept calling out and the sound from space kept calling back. I wonder what God's voice sounds like. Is it deep and gruff or is it soft and gentle? Is it loud or quiet? I think God keeps calling out and maybe we are the sound that calls back. Maybe people are God's echo. How are you God's echo? What does God call us to do? When the wind blows warm, making grass, trees, and flowers dance, it makes my hair brush against my face. I think the wind is God's breath moving through the world, making it come alive. I think that God's breath moves through me too. That makes me special, having a little bit of God inside of me. That makes everyone special, having God's breath inside of them. We can make words and music with God's breath. What kinds of words and music does God's breath make? In September, a new boy came to school. During recess, nobody picked him for the soccer team. At lunch, he ate all by himself. What I remember most about him were his eyes. They look sad. My teacher had us all do a mural one day. The new boy helped me draw a lion. He is a great artist. Maybe we'll be friends. My teacher watched us working together. What I remember most about my teacher were her eyes. They looked happy. I wonder if God has eyes. If so, they must be just like my teachers. They see when people are sad or happy. If you saw the world through God's eyes, what would you see? Sometimes on a bright day, when I close my eyes real tight, I see all kinds of colors, green and purple and red and blue. I think these are just like God's colors. I know God's colors are in me too, and I can paint with God's paintbrush. The end of the story. I hope you enjoyed the story and thought about all the different ways that you may see God in the world or the different ways that we can act like God in the world. And we now come to a favorite part of our service, the Rosh Hashanah service, which is the blowing of the shofar, the ram's horn, a sound that is supposed to sound both like a cry and it's a wake-up call 
It's a sound that makes us feel present and remember this time of year. We'll start together with the blessing for hearing the shofar, and then the multi-talented Chava will lead us by blowing the shofar. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kidshan B'Mitzvah Tav Etzivanu Lishmoa Kol Shofar. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who makes us holy through commandments and commands us to hear the sound of the shofar. Are you ready, Chava? I believe so. We'll take it. Tikiyah. Shivarim. Tikiyah. Truah. Tikiyah. Tikiyah. Shivarim truah. Tikiyah. Tikiyah gedola. Very impressive. Let's all give it up for Chava. Woo! Thanks, Rabbi, for your beautiful calls. You got it. And they're hearing the shofar, which we only do really at this time of year, at this season. We take a moment to think about those people who maybe were with us last year at this time, but are no longer with us here on the earth this year, or people who we love and still hold with us, but their physical presence is no longer here. I invite you to call their memory to mind, to think about them, to, to feel them next to you as we take this moment of remembering all of our loved ones. Ose shalom bimromav, hu yase shalom aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'imru ve'imru amen. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yichronam livracha, may their memories always be for a blessing. And we'll conclude our Rosh Hashanah service this morning with one of my favorite catchy tunes, which is known as Shofar Blast. And you'll see this requires some participation on your part, too. That's right. So just like I just blew a very, very long Shofar Blast, we're all going to do the same thing. So get ready. You can shake it out a little bit if you need to. Take a big, deep breath. Ah, and get ready because we're going to take more deep breaths right in the middle of this song. I like to hear the shofar blast, sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast, happy, happy, happy new year. I like to hear the shofar blast, sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. that with me. Tekiya, Shivarim. Try that one. Shivarim. 
scream. Here's the next one. Teru. Try that. Teru. Now here's your deep breath. Tikiagadola. We're going to try it together. Deep breath. Tikiagadola. Natova, everyone, a happy new year, a shonatova umetuka, and a sweet, sweet new year. And a big thank you to you, Chava, for helping thank us. You, Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. And Shabbat shalom. And Shabbat shalom. It's a doubleheader today. That's right.